from the Met Office, and mm -hmm. I think um, Met Office is one of the organizations uh, that really faces some very dramatic change and interesting mm -hmm. challenges um, due to the fact that um, the weather can be predicted by anyone from anywhere in principle. Mm -hmm. So in, in this particular context, and in the context of innovation, to get the organization to change, what you've experienced are some major challenges. I think some of the major challenges that we've had um, are trying to sort of prove that innovation is actually meeting the customer need. Historically, it's fair to say that we've been quite a science-led organization. Um, we wanted to change that must be very much a, a customer-led organization. So going out and making sure that we're involving um, the customers and the wider users in what, where we want to be going and what we want to be doing is, is really key to how we want to be moving forward. How do you go about it? How do you go about it? What are the mechanisms that help you engage your customer base? There's, there's a number. I, I, I think the, the, the British obsession with the weather means that we, we don't have a shortage <laughs> of people wanting to pass opinion. Um, mm -hmm. And the channels can vary from user groups to workshops. Um, to uh, online and social media, so we're, we're harnessing and canvassing a number of opinions through various channels. Um, but it's really yes, wanted to try and get that closer link with our customers. And so, once you, what happens once you've got the thoughts and the feedback and the insights from the customer? Um, I we refer to in a different conversation that it can be quite difficult for large established organisations mm -hmm. to really truly embrace innovation and change. Yeah. So, do you feel that? Um, your organization is very open to trying things out, to experimenting, to really embrace innovation, um, or what are challenges around achieving that? Yeah, we're, we're very open to it, and a number of initiatives have sort of come off the back of, of, of customer needs and customer engagement. Mm -hmm. um, but the challenge is, is always going to be in terms of it, it's almost providing the proof mm -hmm. that the, the finished article is going to meet the customer need. So it's, it's that evidence part that, um, that we really want to try and focus on. Before they're really willing to engage with it, is they want to know it works before you've uh, tried it out? Absolutely, absolutely. Because there's a, a lot of resource that needs to be putting into developing new products and new services. Um, so, so prototyping for us is, is the way forward in terms of getting things developed very quickly. And um, it can be tested very quickly so we can move on to a 